you know, uh, it's really crazy how one simple thing that you change from a routine that you do every day can just change your life completely. You know, um, you move on from doing one thing over and over for the past 10, 15, 20 years of your life. And then you do something different when you wake up and it just completely changes you as a person. In this video, and I'm glad I'm back, here are nine things you should give up to get your life back on track if you're not on track. And I'm an example of that. I lost track for a while. I got uh, filled up with other things that I've been doing lately. You know, life happens to you. Life throws curveballs at the same time and you learn to adjust. Um, I'm going to share with you nine things that you should be giving up for yourself if you want something that's better or maybe something that's meant for you. You ready? Let's do this. All right. So the first thing you need to give up is sticking up to the person that you used to be. Uh, I have a question for you. Are you happy where you are right now? And if the answer is yes, then end this video. <laughs> but if the answer is no, well, it's time I think that you step out of your norm or the person that you have been for the past enter amount of years that you've been doing so. So remember who you want to be and what you are capable of. You know, um, always think whenever you start want to start something, Think of your ceiling, like in the industry that you chose. For example, you want to be a very good photographer. Uh, choose and see first who is on top of that list of people. And if that's the ceiling that you want to achieve, which most likely you may achieve if you, do, if you put in the hard work, then that's the person or that's where you want to be, right? And that's the person that you should be capable of. If you're starting as someone that's, you know, doing things for just a little amount and you want to be paid for something even more eventually, then find out who's the biggest person that's being paid at the highest price, right? You get what I mean? Like if you're a photographer uh, and the highest person is getting paid X amount of, of money, then you should be working towards that point, right? You always need to know what's your cap, right? What's the ceiling? Right? A lot of people think that, oh, I'm going to become a, the first this and that. But the thing is, who is that cap when it comes to that person that we're, we're, we're talking to or the business? Like me, when I started uh, running my own ad agency, I thought of looking at those that own their own agencies and where they are at at that current moment or over a period of time. And I said, okay, that's going to be my cap. And that's the ceiling that I want to achieve. So if you have to come out of your comfort zone and do that, happily do so for the person that you want to be. Because you have to put that picture in your head or maybe an actual photo of where you want to achieve, uh, what you want to actually achieve in a few years' time. Right? So that's number one. All right, moving on to number two, and it is something that you need to give up because you need to give up criticizing yourself and being your biggest critic for everything that you are not. That specific, for everything that you are not, right? Don't wish for someone that you are not always, right? You love yourself in thoughts, in words, and actions. So you want to be kind to yourself, right? Don't be too hard on yourself. If you're not that person, I mean, you know the, the saying, right? Comparison is the thief of joy. Well, it's a sad fact. It's more important than being kind to others, right? Uh, you have to be kind to yourself furthermore. And you work through your biggest fears, your biggest insecurities, and what actually triggers your anger, right? Those things are important. So help yourself grow beyond those things. Stop being your biggest critic. Let other people criticize you. Remember, what people think about you is not your business. But what you think about yourself and how highly you think about yourself, that's your business. So that's number two. All right, number three, give up regretting and holding on to your past. When you hold on to your past, you miss the beauty of the present that's right in front of you. And what you see in front of you is beautiful, but you don't see it because you look at the ugly past. 
that's correlated with it. So instead of holding on to that past that keeps on haunting you, just look at where you are at right now. It may be better, it may be worse than yesterday, but the thing is, you can do something about it, and that's what's more important. You think the things that didn't work out because they just made room for things that will be for you. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comment section. All right, fourth thing that you need to give up to become the person that you want to be is that give up getting caught up in the negativity surrounding you. Everything that's negative around you is something that you need to recognize and be able to see right there and then. So it's important to be positive even in the most negative times. I've been in the most negative times that I've known. I mean, it may not be as negative as someone else's life, but it is negative for me. And it's always good to find the positive or the silver lining in things. So looking for the worst destroys the capacity to do our best. Does that make sense? Right? When you look for anything that's worse or being a want to say being pessimistic, but it destroys the capacity for us, us performing at the best that we can be, right? So you want to act even in some small way. You don't sit and wait for a perfect future. You don't create, you don't think about the future. You create it by focusing on now, right? Because now is how you create your own future, right? So that's number four. All right. Moving on to the fifth one is that you want to give up thinking that others' life is much easier than yours. You know, like you open your, your social media account, you see your friend, you see their life, and you say to yourself, oh, wow, his or her life must be so damn great, right? Because he's doing this, she's doing that, she saw that, he saw this, and what have you. The thing is, there's a saying, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy, right? They may have done that already because it's something that they've worked hard for. And that may be their chapter nine while well, you are looking at your chapter two. So comparing yourself to others thinking that their life is easier, it's because you didn't see their chapters three to seven or chapter three to eight, right? You only see chapter nine, which is the good part, right? You know the song, Can We Skip to the Good Part? Well, you can't skip to the good part without going to the hard part. So everyone around you faces their struggle, however harder or easier it is compared to yours. You have to think the grass is not always greener on the other side. And I've, I've always felt that every time I, I went from one work to another uh, when I was employed, thinking that, Oh, because I'm getting paid more, and this is going to be a lot better. Oh, because in this and that, everything else is going to be smoother. Well, it's not. It's always going to be green where you water it. That's what I always say. That's number five. All right, moving on to number six is that you want to give up wanting to be where others are in life. Like what I said in the other point, all right, um, their chapter nine is not your, your own chapter. So you haven't had your chapter 9 made yet. You're, you're probably in your chapter 2, 3, 4, 5. The thing is, all have different books. So stop comparing where you are at with what everyone else is at. Does that make sense? If it doesn't take you forward, what it does is that it just pulls you down even more. So if it's not taking you forward, your thoughts, right? It's just pulling you down even further. Procrastination, overthinking imposter mindset, all those things that we've talked about in, in our past videos. But you are unique and so are your goals. Your goal might be to be this, like, you know, the, the first this and that. And so that's your goal. It's not someone else's goal, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. So don't let anyone shit on your dreams or your aspirations or your goals or your journey because yours is always going to be unique. No one takes the same path as what you will, right? Even if, for example, you went to the same school as this person, you're, you, you grew up with this, this person at this uh, same neighborhood, doesn't mean you're, you're both going to have the same future. It doesn't work that way. You are unique. Your goals, your dreams, your journey is going to be unique to everyone else, even to your own siblings, so even to your own parents. 
Like, if your parents all became doctors, doesn't mean that you have to be a doctor yourself if you want to be a painter. Trust that you are in the right place at the right time. You are never in the wrong place in the wrong time. You're always in the right place at the right time. It's because you put in the work that's required for you to do so. And if you're not, then it's time to give up something. All right, seventh thing you need to give up is give up letting the judgment of others control you. Right? You know what I said earlier in the past points? What others think of me is their business, but what I think about myself will always be my business. Words can never hurt me, so, you know, it is what it is. Others don't know your full story. They only see a photo or a video of you on social media or what they see online about you. They don't know your full story of, or, or where you, you started and where you um, came about. You know, it's only you that actually sees that or only a few select people who's been on your journey. So don't let the judgment of other people control you. Your judgment of you should be the one controlling your future self. What you think about yourself matters the most, right? That's the most important thing, nothing else. So it's important what you think about yourself will always be positive things, right? If you think of yourself that you suck, you're not good, you're not going to be great, then you've already lost. But if you think of yourself otherwise or the different, uh, the different side of that thing, well, that's a good start for you. You've already won halfway. So the final thought about this is that you need to think about yourself. Yourself matters most first. Do what is right for you, not what others think you should be doing. Does that make sense? Let me know. Moving on to point eight before the last one. Give up believing that you aren't strong enough to move forward, right? Some people, a lot of people actually get stuck at what they are because they keep on revisiting their past mistakes and keep pondering on that. Well, you have to give up on that. It's always possible to go on no matter how impossible it might seem for you. So remember, everything is going to be okay. That thing that's been bothering you for quite some time, the thing that you've been overthinking for quite some time, or the thing that you've been wanting to address but never have, it's going to be all right. Don't worry about it, right? You have the courage to take one more step and you would be glad that you actually did it. What's important is this. Like, imagine yourself in some, you know, heavy, heavy mist. And all you can see are your feet. The only thing you need to think about is moving that left foot forward. And you can see that, right? If you do, then move your right foot forward and the next and the next and the next. So it's always one step at a time, right? Not trying to sprint towards where you want to be. Never, ever underestimate yourself. You are capable of doing so much more, but you have to work on it. So that's number eight. Last one. Uh, this is what you need to give up the most. Give up overthinking and worrying. I know I have, I've mentioned that a lot of times in the, in the past videos and also on, on this one as well. But you have to give up overthinking and worrying too much. Overthinking creates problems that are not present in the first place. You create problems that don't even exist. Think about all the times that you overthink about things. Think about that in your head right now, right? Think of about three of those. And think how many of those actually happened. Most of the time, it never did. It's happened to me. I list down all the, all the things that I overthink in my notes, and I revisit them a few months, years, years after, and sometimes end up smiling and laughing about it, thinking like, I was worrying about this, and I have bigger fish to fry now. So that's how you grow. Worrying takes away today's peace and the potential in your head that would let you grow even further. But then it's stopping you because you're thinking that you can't do it, this and that and all those. And you need to stop worrying about the things that has not happened yet. You know the, the saying, you cross the bridge when you get there? Well, that's how you battle overthinking and worrying. Well, that's just for me. So that's number nine. So that's it. Um, those are nine things you want to give up for yourself if you want to take charge or take over your life. And if you think you found value in today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And see you again in the next episode. Peace.